So we have separable differential equation here. So you will be given a dy dx equals to some sort of x and y there. So we have f, x, and g, y here. So your differentiated bit will be dy, will be in a variable will include a variable of x and y or more than one variable, where y is actually in terms of x. So we can put everything together. To do this is a reverse implicit differential equation. So we are reversing it. So we put the y on one side. So g y dy and then put the x on one side. Then we differentiate both bit both bit. After differentiated, both sides should have a constant. So we'll left the uh, one side, the constant on one side only. So that's how things going to be done. And then we need to find a constant and so on. This is the theory. So let's get things work. So here is an example, an easy one. So we have dy dx equals to xy minus x. So again, we need to put the x and y on one side. So we have to throw things to taking a common factor here. So xy minus 1. And then we have dy dx here. Now we leave the y on one side and x on the other side. So we have 1 over y minus 1 dy equals to x dx. Then we integrate the both sides. So this size is no brainer. We have x 1 over 2x squared. And the other side, because it's the ln, we have to let u be y minus 1. So we become 1 over u du. Oh, sorry, dx first. I'm jumping a bit. So the u dx, the u dy equals to 1. So this bit will become 1 over u du. And then we have ln u du equals to 1 over 2x squared. Further down, we have to put the u back together. So we have ln modulate y minus 1 equals to 1 over 2x squared plus c. I actually, without the integral, we have the plus c on both sides. So I'll leave it here. And then we need to find y as, a, as the bit. So we have modulate 1 minus equals to e to the power 1 over 2x squared plus c on the top. Uh, yeah, sorry. And then, therefore, we will have to write down, because it's have to be plus or minus, so we have y equals to plus or minus e1 over 2x squared ec plus 1. And that is our general solution. We do not have an initial value for it. Therefore, we get through those. And sometimes we will have a longer question, and then they will have give you the value of it. So let's have one more go, and then we will stop. Yeah, I know it's a bit long here. It's a bit annoying here. So here we go. We have cos x, cos 2x dy dx equals to e negative 2y for 0 bigger than x bigger than pi over 2 is a 90 degree nice thing and x equals to pi over for 4 then y equals to 1 over 2 it's a 4 there what am I writing so there's a 4 here so we got our initial value which means that we have to find c here so yep we do some Rearranging, so we have 1 over e to negative 2y 
dy equals to 1 over cos square x dx, which is sec. So what we're going to do, we have a negative here. So we have e 2y dy integrating it equals to integrating sec square x dx. So now we will have 1 over 2e 2y equals to 10x plus c. Now we put our number in here. So when x equals to pi over 4, y equals to 1 over 2. So we just substitute everything in. So 1 over 2e, 2 times 1 over 2 equals to 10 pi over 4 plus c. Then we will be able to find the value here. So we will have 1 over 2e equals to 10 equals to c. So we will have e equals to, uh, yeah. So now we're going to throw the other things down in here. So we will get our two. So we just have to rewrite the equation. Yes, we just have to rewrite the equation. 1 over 2e 2y equals to 10x plus 1 over 2e. Rearranging it, so we will have 210x plus e. So we have ln of both sides, so 2y equals to ln 210x plus e. So at the end, our answer, sorry, I'm running out of space again, y equals to 1 over 2 ln 210x plus e. And that is the answer. It's a bit annoying, a bit long, but that is how the separable equ differential equation works. So it's also called as separable variables.